Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a quick look here at uh, Android 7.1 Nougat here for the LG G5 which I just installed uh, on the device. I wanted to see how the latest software did run uh, on the uh, phone here. So you can see uh, we do have uh, some things such as the Google Pixel buttons at the bottom here which make it look nice and up to date. Uh, I think uh, the actual ROM here is uh, based upon the CM14, uh, so uh, the ROM is called uh, CR Droid, which I'll leave in the, des the description if you want to check it out. Uh, you will need obviously to unlock the bootloader and root and uh, flash the device, uh, but in the actual settings here you can see uh, LG is on the uh, Nougat here, so we do have the nice uh, cat thing which I still haven't really managed to figure out but uh, it is uh, very nice and if we have a look at the actual uh, software here you can see it is a very stock uh, experience so if you don't like LG software this could be the fix uh, you know going into stuff feels amazingly fast compared to the you know uh, stock software here uh, so, you know, I think if you're looking for a performance boost, this is definitely going to bring it. It's also going to bring some of the excellent Nugget features as well. So, if you want to multitask here uh, with apps which do support it, so let's just open up these two, you can do that. So, just go to that one. Oops. Let's try that again. I hope that uh, eventually they make it so that you can go into the multitasking by holding down the multitasking button because that would be pretty good. I think we can see it works here pretty nice, no uh, issues with it. And also they have implemented the 3D touch as well, which we do get from Nugget as well. So you can see we can quickly add a new uh, reminder or something just by doing that, uh, click on the actual text, because if you click on the icon it doesn't work, but uh, it is working if you click on the text. Uh, the only thing which isn't working, which is a little bit annoying, is the uh, video recording for some reason. I don't know why uh, it's not working, but you can see you get this message when, it, uh, you, know, when you click it. Also, they've not retained the wide uh, the wide lens as well so the actual camera does work you know you can take shots etc and the 4k options etc are there but the uh, those two things are something to be aware of here if you do need them uh, you do get uh, quite a lot of customization options in the settings you can see uh, there's a lot of different wallpapers here I do like the look of some of these nuggety kind of one so we can put that one on uh, and you do get some customizations of CR Droid, the actual ROM. So if you just go here in the settings, you can see you can resize a whole load of different things. I've made these a little bit bigger, but you can make them smaller if you want. You can do a different uh, navigation mode as well. This is quite innovative, to be honest. I've never tried it like this, but you could quick you could get lost as well if you do you know put that on so uh, you know you might want to turn it off and go back to your smart bar that's what it's called nowadays uh, I don't think we get to Google Assistant though which is a bit annoying but maybe you can download it or install it from somewhere uh, you do get to Google now obviously and the tap so that is available and uh, you can also edit the uh, the quick area here. Uh, you have a coffee as well mode, which I sorry caffeine button. So if you're someone who wants to keep track of your caffeine, you can say, "Oh, I want one in ten minutes," and then it will count down and alert you. So I find that quite uh, amusing, really. You also get a night light if you get headaches from blue light. Uh, so it's a pretty nice ROM here, you know, particularly if you've got a uh, LG G5 and you want to check out Android Nugget uh, like on there. I'm not 100% sure, sure when LG is releasing the official one like we do have on the V20 but uh, hopefully I will get it on when it is available but for those of you who want a stock experience 
uh, you really you can't go wrong with this just be aware that the video recording is not working obviously and uh, obviously uh, the wide lens isn't uh, available as well which is a bit annoying uh, but yeah just a quick little video here checking out android 7.1 on the lg5 hope you found it helpful and i'll see you in the next one cheers